Welcome to another video on my channel. This is Legion and in today's video I'm going to show you how to jump using swipes and how to double tab for any functionality that you want. So let's start. <laughs> In the Unity editor, I have a scene in which I have a character, a jump button, and two indicators for where you can touch the screen to move the character to the right and to the left. Now, I, I have already made a topic, a video about this topic, so you can check it out. I will leave the link at the top right of the screen. Now, starting with our video, going to the code, I'm going to say if touch was dot x is bigger than or is greater than the width so what that means is that I am touching the right half the right half of my screen now I'm going to make another if statement I'm going to check if the input dot touches I dot phase dot equals touch phase or actually touch phase dot begin now I need to make two variables, they are going to be vector2, one of them is called first touch, the other one is called last touch. Now I'm going back down and I am going to say that now the first touch is equal to input dot touches I dot position now when i first put my finger on the screen this is going to save the position in the first touch variable now in the other condition i'm going to just copy this i'm going to paste it get rid of the additional bracket and i'm going to change the touch phase to the touch phase dot moved now this is going to trigger when i move my finger on the screen now I'm going to make a vector3 it's called direction so by the way this code uh, works for 2d and 3d as well so if this wasn't really clear clear so the direction is equal to input dot touches I dot position minus the first touch now this is going to make a vector uh, indicating our direction now here I'm going to say if direction dot y so this direction vector 3 if the y component of this direction is actually bigger than or greater than 0 I'm going to do what I'm going to call a method called jump now I'm going to explain so direction dot y is positive that means I moved my finger from the down from the bottom of the screen to up so the, the subtraction of them is a positive number or a positive uh, value whatsoever it is so that means I'm swiping up and this means I'm going to jump now you can reverse this to make a crouch as well so now I'm going to show you the jump method I have already made it in the previous video of, uh, of input now it's just a public void jump if you are going to get rid of the button and going with a swipe approach then you don't really need the public you can just make it private and this is better now jumped equal to jump count minus equal one in the if jumped I added a condition jump count is bigger than zero and actually here I move the animator dot set trigger jump to here now what is going to happen that now if you swipe up you are going to jump if you swiped up from the right half of the screen now I'm going to show you another very handy function it's called I'm going to write input dot touches I dot tab count so what does that mean now tab count let's say it's two now if you tab twice successfully successfully okay doesn't matter if you tap twice on the left uh, <coughs> left left side left half of the screen you are going to perform a 
a certain functionality whatever you want now here I'm going to let's say uh, destroy the game object so when I hit that right half of the screen twice when I tap it twice this is going to destroy my hero my character now here I actually made a mistake equals two now this now you can make this one you can make it three you can make it four anything but I think a double tab is the best now this is it now you can just copy this code and try it yourself it's going to work uh, it's going to work I have already tested it and this brings us to the end of our video if you want if you found this video informative then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos like this it would be really helpful for me thanks for watching peace out